Okay, we're gonna try this again. I tried to go live just a minute ago and uh, everybody was saying that they couldn't see anything, couldn't hear anything. And uh, what's weird is I was able to pull it up on my iPad and I could see myself just fine. So um, take two, I guess. Okay, Jimmy says he can see. Could you not see me before? This is weird because I was able to pull it up on my iPad and I could see in here just fine. I don't know if it, maybe it's because it's like my account that it's logged in under. I don't know, it's weird. So I'm gonna get it going again so I can see your comments a little better because I can kind of see them from there, but I can see them even better from here. Yay, it's working now. I don't know what went wrong the first time, but we'll start all over. I'm painting an anchor door hanger tonight. This is gonna be for a local teacher because our uh, our school motto, or motto, mascot, or we don't even really have a mascot. Our school team name is the Lakers, and we don't really have a mascot. We just kind of have like sailboats and anchors and stuff like that. So they say back in like the... 70s, 60s, I don't know, they called themselves the Swamp Rats, which I think is kind of cool and, and retro, but they don't do that anymore. Yay, you're back, you're back, Chrissy. It was saying content could not play. Well, um, I didn't, like, after you finish a live video, it'll ask if you want to post it, and I just said no, because it, nobody could see or hear anyways. Something was wrong with it, so we started over. Hello, Jennifer. Uh, hey, Jalissa. Now you can see me. Yay, Okay. I don't know what was going on with it. Yes, oh, I forgot. I had already said this in the previous video, and I assumed all you all could hear me. I did get my tickets today for the Certified Zeller Radio Live Show. I'm so pumped. I can't wait to go and take pictures and tell you guys all about it and maybe even meet a few of you guys. Is anybody else going that's watching right now? I'm kind of curious. I think it's going to be so much fun. All right, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to use the polka dot stencil. These polka dots are about an inch and a half wide. Um, a lot of times I use the little sponge dotters for polka dots, but these are only an inch. So these are nice, much bigger polka dots. So we're going to be using this. And then this stencil is also available in my shop. It is the, this one's the actual, the, actually, I'm getting tongue-tied, the medium uh, chevron stencil. Um, if you buy the cut files, it's available in small, medium, and large in the cut files, but this one, is, this cutout is actually available in my shop. Uh, oh, she stole, sold out, Stacy. I'm sorry. I actually got mine in the middle of the day today. She got on Instagram and posted that um, the link was working, and so I hopped on there and bought some. So I'm not sure how many were still available tonight when they went live at 8 o'clock, but they must have sold out quick. Uh, for those of you guys wondering why it has the lines through the chevron stencils, it's uh, because I learned the hard way the first time. The very first time I ever cut out chevron stencil, I didn't put these lines in here. And so when you would pick it up like this, these would all like sag down because there was nothing to support the center part. And it made it really flimsy and hard to wash and they tore really easily. So I got smart and put these lines in here. So I'll show you how to um, how to work with this. We're going to do the... We're, we're going to do red polka dots up at the top. Uh, part of the reason I didn't get my um, two camera angle thing going tonight was because it took me a little while to uh, get the kids in bed. And so I was afraid it would take me too long to get all of the camera stuff set up and you guys would like give up on me. So <laughs> anyways, tonight we're not going to do the two camera angle thing, but we will another night. All right, I'm just going to use my bright red paint and... Uh, Use the little sponge daubers, and we're going to do red polka dots all over the blue part of this door hanger. Hello, Kristen. Hello. <laughs> Tell Brittany, hey, I will, Susan. I'm just glad I live close enough that I don't have to, like, fly in. I think she's got some people flying in for the event. That would be quite expensive to have to fly in and buy your tickets and probably stay in a hotel and all that. But I can just drive up the morning of and then drive back that evening if I need to. So I'm just doing these little sponge dots all around the stencil area. And I'm gonna have to do it somewhat thick because this red is somewhat transparent and I want it to be a nice bright red, which is funny because that's the name of the paint. Part of the reason why it took so long to get the kids in bed tonight was because my husband and I have instituted a policy of uh, at least one night a week, Mama's going to cook something that everybody has to eat. <laughs> and uh, we've really been too lax for too long, allowing the kids to um, be super picky eaters, which I was a really picky eater as a kid. But now um, we're trying to get them away from that because it's gotten really bad. Like they will only eat like chicken nuggets and pizza and grilled cheese and that's like it. 
So um, we're trying to get rid of that. And so on Wednesday nights, whatever mama makes, everybody's got to eat. Well, I posted a um, recipe, I think it was a few days ago, of a bacon cheeseburger casserole. And I thought, that's got to be kid-friendly, right? Because it's got bacon, bacon, it's got cheese, it's got hamburger meat, and it's got... Um, Oh, tater tots. I couldn't think of the word. Tater tots. So I thought, what, what's not to love with kids, you know? But uh, my oldest, he squirted ketchup all over it and ate it anyways. He was fine. And he's usually really picky, but if he puts ketchup on it, he'll eat it. Now, the six-year-old sat crying at the table until like nine o'clock. And then finally, we just had to make him go to bed. It was pitiful. All right, so let's peel this up and see our polka dots. And I'll wash that stencil off here in a little bit. See? Really easy. And we'll do some highlights and accents on those here in a few minutes. Chrissy, you said you saw that you have the cut files a few times, but you don't always catch the full video cut files for the Silhouette Cameo or similar machine. Can I ask you what to use to cut? Sorry for all the questions. Um, if you have a Silhouette or a Cricut or some sort of cutting machine that cuts uh, like paper and things like that, you um, can buy the cut files on my website and just download them to your computer and then you can cut out these stencils. Um, the material I buy on Amazon and I've got the the link for the material in the shop in the description of the stencils so um, you'll have to go to Amazon to buy the material but you can buy the digital file from me and uh, cut it on your machine so if you've never done that before it can be kind of intimidating um, but I'm sure there are YouTube videos out there showing you how to do it I haven't made a video but it's mainly because the program I use on my Cricut and my Cricut's one of the older ones is no longer available so um, most people don't have it so it wouldn't really be helpful for me to do a tutorial on that because my design program would be so different from all of y'all's watching from Benton hey Betsy you're just up the road then hi Alexandria okay now I'm just doing the chevron stencil and it doesn't quite stretch all the way to the edge of the anchor but I'm just gonna fill in the end of it because it's only like a half inch area that I'm going to have to use my paintbrush on. <clears throat> Plus I'm going to have to go through and fill in the little gaps where I've got the stencil held together with the little pieces that run this away. I'm running out of paint. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget you need to sign up by August the, 20, the 20th for my um, live paint party group. I'm going to be mailing out a super cute little Halloween witch owl door hanger um i can go get it if you guys want to see it i don't know I've, i figured everybody's seen it by now if you haven't holler and i'll run across the room over there and grab it so i can show you guys but i'm going to be mailing out the blank door hangers in, a, in probably next week sometime and uh, then sometime the first of september after everybody confirms that they have received theirs i will schedule a time for a live video and it will only air in the private group page. You guys on this page won't be able to see it. You have to pay for the membership to be able to see the video. And uh, we will all get together online and paint our door hangers. And then share our pictures and get ideas. And we are already getting to know one another in this group. Like we've had several ladies post videos telling about themselves and what they like to do. We've also had them sharing um like if they have a business page, sharing their business page so we can all kind of support one another and like each other's pages. Nikki, the cupcake was a hit. Awesome. Everybody loved it. Nikki came and got a blank door hanger from me. She just lives not too far and uh, she painted it at home and it turned out really cute. All right. Lifting up the chevron stencil. And because I'm impatient, the chevron stencil stuck to my polka dots a little bit. So I'll have to touch them up. But see what I mean about the, the lines and the chevron? We're going to fix that. Okay. So... I got some brand new brushes and I'm excited about them. Let's see. I love new brushes because the other ones get kind of gunked up, but these, these are nice and new. And I always say, I'm going to take better care of these, but <laughs> you know, when you use them every day, I don't, I, even if I do take super good care of them, sometimes they just get ruined. You said you're going to have to watch later. You're watching the CMA Fest concert. Girl, I don't, I don't blame you, Martha. That, that's a good show. I love the CMAs. Okay, I'm just going to finish out the chevron on this side. It kind of ended in the up angle, so I'm just going to finish the down angle of the arch. That's all I got to do right there. And then um, I'm filling in the area where that little um, support is in the stencil. 
I can't seem to find words tonight. I'm like struggling to, to think of words. I guess I'm just tired. I don't know. Kids are wearing me out. I had to whip all three of my children today. Anybody else have a day like that? It's like a Monday, but with kids. Like I had to whip all of my kids today. All right, I hope you guys can see this all right. Maybe I should move the camera in real close for just a second so you guys can kind of see how I'm filling in the, um, that's a terrible camera angle, but you're gonna get the gist of it. I'm just filling in this little area here in between the stencils and it may take more than one coat because it went on a little thicker with the sponge brush. Kind of like the little welcome um, stencil we used the other day to paint the word welcome. You just had to kind of finish out the letter um, by filling in the blank spots. So we've got them all filled in. It looks good. Get the camera put back over here. You guys can see me. All right. And then uh, I think we're just going to paint um, some highlights and things on it. What just happened to my iPad? I think it just went. It just went to sleep. Like it just decided to give up and go to sleep. What is up with that? Stay awake. Maybe I need to change the settings on it. What about the paint list and the brush type for the group? Um, yes, in the group, I'm gonna be posting sometime, probably this weekend, all the paint colors everybody's gonna need and um, <clears throat> maybe like uh, some brushes that I prefer to use. You don't have to buy these brushes. You can work with what you got. If you've got any sort of craft brushes at home but um, I will recommend some for you guys and the video some I've had a couple of people ask me the video will be live in the group pay or available in the group page to watch anytime during the rest of the month and I'm considering leaving it in there during like the following month just in case some people didn't get a chance during that month because you know life gets in the way things happen uh, if, in case they didn't get the chance to watch it so um, I may leave it in there for just a little while longer uh, so that the people who ordered the cutout can get it painted. But you can either watch it live or you can watch it recorded a little while later. All right, I may have to break out my hair dryer because this paint's taking forever to dry. Hang on just a second. I just read what you put, Kristen. Bless your heart. I do not envy you. Sick babies and sick kids are no fun. Might have been at school all day, but they started fighting the minute they got came home, so that was the problem. I could not wait to get them in bed tonight. All right, that's a little better. My paintbrush rolled off in the floor. Okay, we're just going to do some little highlights around these dots. And I like to do them in different directions. I don't like to put them all on the same side of the polka dot. Kind of just makes them a little bit more whimsical and fun. Man, my iPad keeps going to sleep. What's going on? It's possessed. It's an old iPad though. Like, it's been around a while. Um, I'm not going to do any more details down at the bottom because it's going to have words and I don't want it to be like super busy. Okay, we are going to write Mrs. Zimmerman down here at the bottom. And then Lakers up at the top. Wait a minute. I think I want to do the lettering at the bottom in blue. But I've got to mix the color because our school colors, uh, the school blue that we use is a little bit lighter than this color blue. So I'm mixing cobalt blue with a little bit of white. And instead of using my bristles to mix my paint, I like to use the opposite end of my paintbrush because it like keeps the paint from getting all gunked up on the brushes. So I just kind of swirl it around in there. You know, I'm thinking that may not be the right color blue because that does not look like the same thing. I think I may have used the bright blue. Let's try that again. Yep, it's the bright blue. I thought it looked a little bit too, I don't know, the wrong shade of blue. It wasn't right, that's for sure. So we're using bright blue and white. Okay, we can start again. Hello, Linda. 
the crafty southern belle. How's it going down in Louisiana? Amanda says, do you bring the stencil lines and the polka dot lines down on the sides or just the solid colors? Um, it kind of depends on the door hanger. Some of them I do. This one I didn't. Um, probably because I'm distracted. Most of the time I do. Most of the time I do. Um, and it all depends too like what color you're painting on. Like on this white, it probably would look better if I continued the chevron over to the side. But you absolutely do not have to. It looks good either way. Um, I do always paint the edges of my door hanger. But um, I don't always bring the design down the edge. So, Louisiana is hot. It's been over 100. Woo. It's been really um, humid here today. Lisa, what kind of mat are you using to protect your table? This is a janky old piece of poster board that uh, we used it for a softball tournament and like wrote a bracket on it and now you can't even see the bracket. It's so covered in paint. So it's just a piece of like foam poster board that I keep hidden behind my china cabinet and I pull it out whenever I'm going to paint. It's just easier than like laying a tablecloth across the whole table. If I'm painting a whole bunch of door hangers, like, you know, a mass order of like 10 of the same design, I'll just cover my whole table in like a disposable tablecloth. What about the back? I don't ever paint the back of my door hangers. Um, sometimes at my parties, uh, people will paint the back of their door hanger. It's usually pretty rare, but they will if, if like they've got a glass door and they don't want to see the wood on the back. They'll just paint it like a solid color. Dollar Tree foam poster board. That's right, Linda. Do you cut most of your door hangers with a jigsaw or a CNC? 95% of my door hangers are cut with a jigsaw. Um, the CNC I only really use for the ones that are super intricate and uh, I don't want them to have to mess with the jigsaw on the really intricate ones. But like this was cut with a jigsaw, so. All right, I'm just using like a a little bitty brush. I don't even, oh, it has a number six on it, if that tells you anything. I don't know. I don't know fancy brush names or numbers or anything like that to be able to tell you guys exactly what kind of brush this is. But it has a number six on it. It's about a quarter inch wide. It's got a flat tip. And uh, it just allows me to control the paint really well. And I always say on here, like, I try to pick a brush based on the size of the lettering I want. Did I paint my china cabinet? Yes, I did. It is uh, spray painted. I, was, I don't, don't remember the name of it, but it's like a lime green kind of spray paint. And uh, then I antiqued it with antiquing glaze and uh, then put a coat of, like, polycrylic on it. And, oh, front door is the same exact color, Kristen. That green is like my favorite. I've also got like a little hutch painted that color over by the front door. It's not much to look at right now though because it's stacked up with door hangers that are awaiting pickup. <laughs> That's where you keep your extra poster board too, yep. I have all kinds of things stashed behind my china cabinet. Zimmerman's a long name, y'all. All them M's take up a lot of space. Gotta make sure it's have enough room and then we're gonna put Lakers up at the top and I think I might do that in white okay I've already got some white on here so we'll just use it I'm a Laker alumni Callaway County Lakers I think I'm going to do all caps. It looks a little sportier that way. All right. I better not talk while I'm painting words or I'll misspell something. I know it's backwards for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but we're in selfie mode. <laughs> so I'm going to make a bow for this tomorrow and hang on my door and I'll take a picture for you guys. But uh, this was just kind of a quick showing you guys how to use the stencils and all that. That way, uh, you know, you see just how easy they are. So if anybody wants those, they're $25 each on my website and that includes the shipping cost. So, um, w but for some reason, my website won't let me set things as free shipping. So if you put it in your cart, make sure when you check out, put it as a local pickup so it won't charge shipping for you. 
Um, Ashley says, you don't measure before you start painting the name. What happens if it's even a little off center? Um, whenever I first started painting, I used to like start with the center letter, like I would count how many letters were in the name and start with the middle, but it never ended up centered when I did that. So it's just one of those things that like, as I've done it, I've kind of gotten better at it. And every now and then like this, it probably wasn't quite as centered, but it's still cute and uh, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's not spelled right. I think the R is missing in Zimmerman. Oh, no, it's not. See the Zimmer. It probably looked like an M from far away or like it was part of the M. <laughs> All right. The, uh, you please give you the website. Lisa, the website is up at the top of this post. So like when I end the post, you'll be able to click on it. SouthernAdornmentsDecor.com and there's a button for the shop. And once you click the shop button, it'll pop up with the options of all the different sections of my shop. So if you're looking for just stencils, scroll down and click stencils. That's okay, Lori. Thanks for uh, keeping an eye out for me because it's very likely that I could have spelled that wrong. I've totally done that before and at a party more than once. And I'll just be like, that's okay. We can paint over it. And I'll like paint white over it and then redo the stencil part. So <laughs> it's always your fear. It's just paint though. You can paint over it and fix it. It's no big deal. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me again tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. I guess I'll figure it out as we go. But I do know that on Monday, we've got the eclipse. So I'm going to be out in my front yard live on Monday so you guys can see the totality, how dark it gets. Because I'm in the totality, like, dark zone. And I think it's going to be so cool. So, anyways, you guys have a good night. Good night, Susan. Thank you. Bye-bye. I can't hit the button.